guys, so last week I did a top favorite girl's name video and this week I'm going to do a top favorite boy's name video. And once again I have 11 combinations to share with you first and middle names because for some reason this time when I was creating these lists I couldn't narrow down either my girl's list or my boy's list to just 10 names. So I have a top 11 list and I'm going to start at number 11 with my 11th favorite boy's name and that is Constantine Lazarus. And yes, this name is very, very grand. It's probably the most grand name on this list, Constantine Lazarus. And the reason it is at number 11 and not um, higher up on the list is probably because it is such a big name for a child. And I don't know if I would be brave enough to use it, but I love the name Constantine so much. It's a Latin name and it means constant. And Lazarus is one of my favorite biblical names of all time. It's a Hebrew name and it means God has helped. At number 10, I have Almanzo David. And I love the name Almanzo. I think it is so handsome. And it makes me think of the Laura Ingalls Wilder uh, books, Little House on the Prairie books, because her husband's name was Almanzo. And Almanzo is an Arabic name that means the victorious, and David is a Hebrew name that means beloved, and I love the name David. David was a name my parents considered for me if I had been a boy, and I think it is just strong and masculine and very, very handsome. At number nine, I have Julian Kai, and Julian is a Latin name that means youthful. Um, there are several different variations of this name, Julian, Julius, Julia for a girl, and then Kai is a Hawaiian name that means ocean. And I love how these names sort of balance each other out. Julian is very old and stoic and Kai is sort of fun and fresh sounding. And so I think they balance each other out nicely and they sound really good together, Julian and Kai. At number eight, I have Sullivan Ambrose. And Sullivan is an Irish name that means dark-eyed. And I don't know if I would ever have a child that has dark eyes unless I married someone with a very opposite um, complexion and opposite coloring <laughs> to me because I am so fair. But if I did have a child with, with um, dark eyes, I would definitely consider the name Sullivan. And Ambrose is a Greek name that means immortal. It's one of those old man names that I love so much. At number seven, I have the name Kingsley Maverick. And this name is so fun. I definitely picture a mischievous little boy with the name Kingsley Maverick. Kingsley, the first time I heard this name was in the Harry Potter series. There is a minor character named Kingsley who is really cool. And Maverick is an English word name I like. Kingsley is... Um, an English name that means from the King's Hill. At number six, I have Gabriel Vincent. And Gabriel, the first time I heard this name was when I heard the name of the author Guy Gabriel Kay. He is a Canadian author who has a really cool name. And it's a variant of the name Gabriel, which means God is my strength. And Vincent is a Latin name that means victorious. At number five, I have Tarquin Zephyr. And one of the reasons I love this name so much is that both of these names sound like they could be futuristic, but they are both so old. Tarquin is a Roman clan name, so it's over 2,000 years old. And Zephyr is another one that's probably over 2,000 years old because it's a Greek name that means West Wind. At number four, I have Rafferty Knox, and I love this name. I love that Rafferty doesn't really sound like a lot of other names out there. It's an Irish name that means abundance, and Knox is an English name that means from the small hill. And Knox is actually a family name for me. It was my grandmother's maiden name. At number three, I have Theodore Jericho. This was my top, um, favorite boy's name for a long time. But then my cousin used the name Theodore. She didn't know that I loved it so much. She had no idea that I even liked it. So I can't blame her for using it. And the name suits her son so 
well and he is so cute little Theo. Um, I still really like this name and I would consider using it even though she's used it because we live in different cities and so it wouldn't be a big deal. Um, Theodore is a Greek name that means gift of God and Jericho is an Arabic name that means city of the moon. At number two, I have Caspian Alonzo. Caspian has been a name I've loved forever because of the Narnia books and Prince Caspian, and it means of the Caspi people. And Alonzo is a very handsome Spanish name that means noble and ready. And I love saying this combination, Caspian Alonzo. I think it is very, very handsome. And my favorite name right now is Sebastian Leo. And Sebastian is a Greek name that means venerable and Leo is an Italian name that means lion. And in a weird way, this combination honors my dad because his name is Ian. Sebastian ends in Ian and his horoscope, he's a Leo. So it kind of honors my dad in a weird way, I guess. But I just really love the name Sebastian and the nickname Bass or Bash. Um, those are two really cute nickname possibilities there. So Sebastian is my favorite boy's name right now. So let me know what you thought of these names and what your favorite boy's names are, what boy's names you are loving right now. And if you haven't watched the girls version of this video, I will put a link to it in the description box below. And thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you soon.